Okay, you can come in now. We're, we're, we're masked up. Thank you, Red Puppet. Homeschooling tip! You worried your kid's not learning enough science during pandemic period? Shoot off a couple water rockets. So much science. 10 to 15 pumps of pressure. Tommy, let me do it. You're not heavy enough. Excuse me, here. Six. Seven. Oh God. Three, two, one. Lift up! Oh! Science, baby! It's time for another episode of Jablinski Wine Connoisseur. This uh, bottle of wine comes courtesy of uh, John Spiker, tenacious D bass player and producer extraordinaire. It's called Marcassin. <sighs> Sweet aroma of youth. Can't read a goddamn thing without my glasses. <laughs> mm, slight undertones of oregano and spice. Mm, mm. A hint of popcorn. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's a good, it's a pretty good wine. <laughs> Dude, what's up, my peeps? It feels like home. It feels like family. Oh, when you grab a bowl of stew, you'll need to wait a few days before being able to grab another. Oh, dude, look at that stew. Ooh, good, good lord. Right trigger? Eat that stew, bro. Oh, I gotta get another angle on this stew. Oh, eat it all, brah. I hate leaving my, my, uh, my people, my family, my tribe. I wanna go and like chop some, ho chop some, some firewood or something, but you know what? I got bigger fish to fry right now. Already off the path, come on, get on that red path. I can ride and drink wine at the same time. You don't think so? <laughs> Let me prove you wrong. Okay, girl. Ah. You know, a lot of the big famous movie stars and rock stars are, are uh, starting their own alcohol companies right now. Have you noticed that? Huge money. Not just Dwayne The Rock Johnson, my good friend Dwayne The Rock Johnson with Teramanak Tequila, but also dude from Deadpool. What's his name, Ryan Reynolds? I heard he just sold his gin company for $600 million. That's a lot of scratch. That's a lot of coin. That's like, uh, I'm thinking about buying an island kind of money. You know what I mean? I think I might buy myself a jet kind of money. And don't stop there. The dudes from Breaking Bad, both of them teamed up. They bought some kind of alcohol. Don't forget about George Clooney. Dude just sold his for like a bill, a cool bill. So anyway, I'm thinking about uh, starting my own alcohol company. Not because of money. I don't. I don't care about the money. It's because I love uh, alcohol. So I'm starting my wine company, Jablinski Vineyards. There so Francis Ford Coppola, if you're listening, you want to go have seas? We can start a new vineyard. Uh, give me a jingle. We'll talk about it. Emerald Ranch. You can speak with people in the area to find out where the debater is. The debater? What's a debater? Why do I need a debater? Excuse me, do you know where the debater is? I'm looking for the master. The master debater? <laughs> get it? Dumb. Oh, I think I know what it's, I think I know it's, I need to jump off I here. Get... Don't be all sneaky. Just walk up. Talk to these dudes. They seem like reasonable dudes. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin by marriage. It's his cousin, but only by marriage, so it's not like they're real family, I guess is what he's saying. Cold-blooded. Go to Carmody Dell. All right, let's go. So I gotta go get this wagon from that guy's cousin to prove that I'm good at my job of kicking ass and taking names. Uh, no problem. <laughs> I'll go get your stagecoach. And he's saying if you want to go ahead and rob my cousin blind, go ahead and do it. I don't care, because I don't really like my cousin from marriage. And that's why he's perfect. It's no country for old men, I'll tell you that. Hop off your horse. In fact, let's go power crouch. Why do I get the feeling there's gonna be a gunfight? Wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? 
Let's wait. Patience is a virtue. Patience, my friend. What life is all about, delayed gratification. Okay, let's go. Sure. Wait until the time the is house. right. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. So I'm going in just to rob. He gets the stagecoach and I go rob? I guess Robin's just part of the deal, guys. I gotta do some Robin. Peek in the windows first. That's good advice. Okay, the coast is clear. The coast is clear. Gold pocket watch. That's a lot of money. Close drawer. I got $48. Let's go. I gotta hold it. This one, you can't tap it. You gotta just hold it. Get these boys going and then hold it. We got everything we needed. Yeah, we did. Sure they never even knew I was there. Like a ninja. Money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Dude, every time we we pass someone, I think they're gonna call out that we, we stole the stagecoach. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yeah. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. I had to accept Hosea's invitation to go back to camp. Dude, a lot of money. What? 75 bucks, my share. Dang, dude. Yeah. Somebody brought home the bacon, and it was me. Hitch horse. You're welcome. Let me real quick just check out my progress, see where I'm at. Story 16%. Dude, 16%? Are you kidding me? We've only just scratched the surface. 16%. Get back in there. Because I want to do that mission, but I don't want to go in there if I'm wanted dead or alive. Let's go to the post office. See if we can pay that bounty. All right, good, good, good. This is the plan. And then that's it. All right. Let's go. Hmm. But then that's it. That's my limit. Because you know why? You got to stay sharp if you want to survive. In the land of Red Dead Redemption Part 2. Hey, mister, help me. How about we skip the small talk, eh? This guy fight me? Holy shit! You son of a- Oh, well, I gotta kill you. Nice try. That didn't feel right. I didn't need to kill him. I didn't need to kill him. I panicked. Oh, God. Can I take this back? Can I go back? I had a bad feeling about that one, too, because he was like, help, help. But let's cut the small talk and let me just steal your horse. And then I shot him. Dude, this sucks. Because now I had a couple sips of wine. I get robbed. I don't have my... Where's the Polka King? Did I lose Polka King for good? Just because I was like, hey, I'm going to help out a fellow man. Someone needs my help. I gave him my horse. What's this? Now, does this guy want to kill me? L leave me alone. Hey, guy. Wait, is that... Is that my horse? Is that Polka King? Yeah, that's a Polka King. How come he didn't come when I whistled for you? I shot a man. I guess I didn't kill him though, so I feel good about that. I feel better. I feel, I feel better. Oh, here I am. You know where I am. I'm at the post office, which is good because I want to pay off my bounty. I'd like to pay my bounty. I'm wanted dead or alive in the next county, and I'd like to pay my bounty. Wait a second. It's going to cost me $205? You take that chance. I'll pay the money, even though I think it's highway robbery. Worth every penny. Let's do it. Must be in big trouble you made at that price. Yeah, I did make big trouble. 
Now if I look at my map, let's see what's happening. What the hell? I'm still wanted dead or alive? Okay, well what the hell good was that then? I'm so confused. I don't know what I just paid for. I think I think we'll call that we'll call that a night. Great episode. Hey, 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 hey. Yet another unbelievable episode of Jablinska Gajams. Here's to you. Here's to Jablinski Vineyards. And all good tidings to you and yours. Much love. Catch you on the flip-flop. See you next week.